YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy you took some time to stop by today. So today I'm here with my May favorites. So what stood out to me this past month of May? So let's get right into it. First of all, for us here in the Montreal area, May has been abnormally hot. Um, it was summer weather for a big chunk of it, actually. Um, so we kind of yo-yoed between really, really hot, like July-ish weather in the 30s, you know, 37 with humidity. And then, you know, the regular temperature of like 18, 19, and then really, really big downpours. Um, because of all of that humidity, but a lot of beautiful sunshine as well. So it's been kind of a yo-yo month in terms of weather, but that hot weather, that summer weather, that beautiful sun that is out has been so enjoyable. It's been so nice to be able to slip into some sandals, uh, here and then and just be outside. And I opened up my little terrace outside and got to enjoy my little sofa and eat breakfast outside on those really hot days. And it was so much fun. Phil and I have been loving it. So um, I'm a really, I'm a summer person. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I, I could live with summer every day, honestly. <laughs> I just adore it. So that's been fabulous and a huge highlight of my month of May. Not something to take for granted or get too used to because it's not normal for us to have that kind of heat in, in May. Um, but hey, if summer's here earlier, I'm not going to refuse it. And then May has been a month of like seeing family. We had Mother's Day, got to spend some time with my mama love and see my sisters and um, some birthdays and just some family gatherings for different reasons and uh, spend a weekend with my in-laws, which I always love to do. I'm very, very close to them. So it was really nice. It was really, really nice to just have those little moments of quality family time. Um, something I'll never be sick of and something I just feel so lucky to do every single time I get to. So that was a really big highlight for the month of May as well. And now if we kind of get into the stuff, I guess, of the month of May, you know, in terms of TV, um, I didn't watch very much TV in the month of May. Um, I did watch the Queen's Jubilee Horse Show, which I absolutely loved. Um, I'm, I'm a horse gal, so I couldn't miss that. That was really fabulous. Um, and other than that, I finished a series uh, that I had started to watch in the air in the airplane on my way back from my trip. And it's a British show called A Confession with Martin Freeman. And I absolutely loved it. So that was really good. It's a true story. Um, you know, it's six episodes. It's not long, um, but it's, it's really good. I really, really enjoyed that. And then other than that, because I've been in my intensive summer class, right? It's twice a week. So there's a lot of work to do uh, in short periods of time. So I didn't have a lot of TV, I guess, or reading for personal use uh, happened in the month of May. Um, so I don't have a lot to share in that terms, in that department, if you will. But we did go see uh, at the movies, Qu'est-ce qu'on a tous fait au bon Dieu? For those of you who do like to watch French movies, it's the third of the series. So there's Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait au bon Dieu? Qu'est-ce qu'on a encore fait au bon Dieu? And then the third one is Qu'est-ce qu'on a tous fait au bon Dieu? And it's absolutely, it's hilarious as the first two are. And I absolutely loved that movie. Phil and I had the best time watching it. So if you do like French movies, I recommend. <laughs> Alrighty, now if we get in more into the um, stuff, my fragrances of the month of May. I would say there've been really two main fragrances for me in the month of May. For the hotter days, the days that was very like summery and I wanted to just be like, I don't know, sweet. I went for my Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey 
and this is the Travelo that I've been using as my purse spray with this and I just oh my gosh I don't know how many years I've been loving this scent but I I just I love this scent and then for more of like the rainier days or the cooler days where it was more like 19 you know degrees I've been reaching for my Chanel Numero Saint Lô. It's what I'm wearing today. I just adore this perfume so much. I I really love it. And this is one of the scents that Phil just loves on me. He loves this scent so much. Oh yeah. So I've been using my black, my black one I've associated to that. Yeah, and I just I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So these two fragrances for May for me. I just I love them so much. Then um, a favorite nail color for sure. I've been reaching for this one over and over uh, this month. And it is the Essie Rocky Rose, if it can focus. But it's 603 Rocky Rose. And it is this, um, this color right here. And it's really, really pretty. It's like a orangey pink. I guess. So it's not quite brick, but it's, I just absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I've been in the mood for this kind of color this month. And then, ooh, um, Gwenny is kind of a reason for this one. I ordered a stylus on Amazon. It actually came in a pack of two, so I have the white and a black. Um, and this is the one I carry with me in my purse and my black one is in my nightstand. <laughs> um, but I love it. So you have the cushiony side here and then you have this tip so I can just put the cover on the other end and it has this part. Um, and it came with the little replacement heads as well if ever this one falls off or gets used. But I love this. This is such a game changer when you want to do something precise on your phone for example or on your tablet so it's been really really fun to use um for editing um for games for whatever i just i've been really really enjoying this and i've been getting a ton of use out of it so if i can still find it on the amazon i will link it below but and it was a really good price for both of them i don't remember exactly but uh, really really happy with it and then in terms of bags for the month of May, um, when I came back, I pretty much changed right into my camera A bag in this beautiful uh, Bordeaux color um, with my lovely wide strap. And I just, I love this bag so much. I really, really do. It's, it's a fabulous bag. It, it works for me. I realize people who carry bigger bags, they might not like how compact this is, but I really, really adore it. It definitely works for me and my lifestyle. And then in terms of a black bag, I've been, I pulled out my Carl Lagerfeld Charlotte. Um, I use this a lot in the month of May. When I wanted a black bag, this has been the bag I've been using and it has the crossbody. Uh, it's not a removable strap, but it is adjustable, and I just love it. And it's crazy how much you can fit in this bag. Even though it's so slim, it fits a lot. Like, everything that fits in here, fits in here. So it's pretty impressive. Um, I, I really love it. So it's been nice that I pulled it out again and started to use it. It's been a while. Um, and it really me really made me, you know, remember why I love it so much because I hadn't used it in a while. So there we go. Then there is Miss Marco, um, which you might've seen in my background for a little bit. Uh, and I just put my Aspinall scarf on it. It's not perfect. It's a little bit uneven, but I think it looks really really pretty on it with the navy blue I just think it looks so nice. So I, I just I love this bag so much. 
the Margot is, I have it in blue and in black and I think it's, uh, it's up there in my favorites. I just absorb it. I just adore this bag. And then last but definitely not least is my beautiful coach city tote i love this bag so it has the red tag but i added my aspinall tag there and it's been my go-to school bag and i've been using it a lot because like i said my class is intensive this is kind of how it looks right now. It has my organizer in there. I love that organizer. And so I have, if I can open it right. Ah, there we go. So I have my organizer in there, I have my notebook. I normally slide in my laptop as well. Um, and a bottle for, uh, you know, my tea and maybe a snack. And I'm good to go to school with this. So. It's been fabulous. I love it. And it's gotten squishy as well. It's just molds to your body. It's comfortable. It's, it's a great bag. It's a great bag. And I don't regret it. Um, and of course, this print, it still makes me as happy as the day I got that heart bag. I'm obsessed with this print. I just love it. Um, it just still makes me so, so happy every time I see it. So I know I made the right decision with with this print. And there you have it, my favorites for the month of May. For sure, uh, you might have noticed I'm wearing my scarf. This is a scarf that Devin Christopher gave to me. And it's this beautiful print. And it's just so pretty in this like these leaves and it's like purples and greens and yellows and oranges and it's it's very, um, it's just gorgeous. Um, and I've been really reaching for it a lot and I just really love how, cause it's so light. It's, you're not wearing anything when you're wearing this. It feels like nothing at all, but it just looks so pretty and I'm wearing it with my Hermes scarf ring here. Um, but I just love wearing silk scarves and, I've been really having fun with them and putting them around my bags and playing with them on my neck and um, I've been wearing scarves a lot. I'm really into silk scarves. I don't know if I'll ever stop. I just love them and I want to add more to my collection. I just, I, they make me so happy. They make me so happy. So. A little something I forgot to mention. Um, I've got a tester for mascara and it's what I've been using this month um it's what's on my eyes now and i just love it it is by charlotte tilbury i've never really loved any of the charlotte tilbury mascaras i've tried but i've never tried this one and i really love it and it's the charlotte tilbury legendary lashes volume 2. this is the little tester sample i got from sephora when i had ordered my perfume uh and it's really good. It's really, really good. And it doesn't flake. It doesn't fall like down. Um, it lasts all day. It separates. It volumizes. Um, it keeps the curl on my lashes. I've been really happy with it. And so this is like what the brush looks like. And it's fabulous. So I don't need mascara at the moment, but when I do, I might go pick up a tube of this because I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm happy I got to try it out. So. so there you are. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. Let me know down below what your favorites are for the month of May. And I will see you very, very soon.